in the finals now, it's uh, the first person to get it right who gets the point. So it's a little, it's different from the semifinals. Now, where not everyone can get it right, uh, and so they have they have buzzers that are on uh, on the lecterns now where they signal in, and then but we can't see them, so they'll hold them up when when, when we do. Uh, when they do signal. And then they have to answer immediately, and, and, if, and if that's correct, then they get the points. If it's not correct, then the other two people will get a choice. Right. Here we go with the finals. Suppose sine A is 3 fifths, and cosine A is 4 fifths. What is secant of A plus cosecant of A plus tangent of A plus cotangent of A? Is it 5 sevenths, 7 fifths, 25 twelfths? Ankin? Oh, excuse me. E5. That was Ankin, sorry, I, I, if I the right place. E5? Yeah. E5 it is, yes. Sorry, Ankin, I, I remembered you over there. But that was Ankin getting that right. All right Ankin. I almost got to read that choice. Uh, how did you How did you get it so quickly? Oh, so you um, secret is 1 over cosine, so that's 5 fourths, and then cosine would be 5 thirds, and then tangent would be sine over cosine, so then you would get uh, 3 fourths and then 4 thirds. And then to make it faster, I had to go with the same denominator together, and then it just became 2 plus 3, which is nice. <laughs> It just became 2 plus 3. That's right, and it's 5. That's exactly right. Uh, and then if you can't keep straight, how uh, secant and cosecant, it doesn't matter because they're both in there. Because sometimes people can't remember which reciprocal it is. All right, very good, Ankin, here. And so that's 1,000 points for you. Here, and it, uh, just like in the semifinals, we'll reveal the point totals at uh, the halfway point and every time after that. All right, here comes question two. Among all four digit numbers that can be written using each of the digits 1, 3, 5, and 7 exactly once, what fraction of those numbers are divisible by 11? Is it a 12? Who was that? Karthik? C16. C16? Incorrect. Incorrect. All right, so uh, I'll, I'll finish reading. Uh, B18. C, uh, yes, is that you, Ankin? E13. E13? Yes, it wasn't E, right? All right, so Ankin, did you get that because the answer to everything is E? Or now that we, now that we have E's in there, we're trying to fill a quota, or how did you get that? Okay, so then um, we can use the like, divisibility rule for 11, which says if you like take the, like, if you take like, the first digit minus the second digit plus the third digit minus, minus the fourth digit, that should be a multiple of 11. And then we can use the like, divisibility rule for 12, which says if you like take the first digit minus the second digit plus the third digit minus minus the fourth digit, that should be a multiple of 11. And then the only way to do that is if, if the first and the third digit add up to 8, and then same for the second and fourth ones. So then 1 and 7 have to each other, and then 3 and 5. So then regardless of what number is in the thousandth place, um, only one of the remaining three numbers can go in the tenths place. So then right. one third of the number would work. Right, and so uh, how many? There are 24 total numbers, and then eight of them work. Right, so that's how you get one third. Uh, and and then there's no way to get a difference of 11 with with the ones that we have there. Uh, so it have, they have to be equal. That's right. All right, and very good explanation, Akin. Uh, all right, uh, and you go along with that, Parker? Yes, okay. yes. I mean, I can't be